Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you the very basic setup on the travel router that I suggest for every photo booth setup. I have these for every photo booth that I have and I have a separate router for each photo booth uh, that I use just so that I always have one. Um, so this is the this is the router TP-Link AC750 Wi-Fi travel router. So I'm going to go ahead and this is a brand new one. I'm just going to open it up and we're going to go through uh, the quick and easy setup. So it includes a little card that has the login information if you're going to connect to the, the default password. Um, in my setup personally, I always change the password. Um, I change the, the SSID for the Wi-Fi to photo booth and then I change the password to the same password that I use for every device. Uh, for this little test, little setup here, uh, I'm just going to do the default settings and just show you how I connect to an existing Wi-Fi or a hotspot location. So all you need here is the, uh, the included uh, USB cable, which apparently doesn't easily come apart, uh, the power supply, which is included, and of course, the router. Uh, the main thing with the router is that you want to make sure that you are set to share hotspot, which is the middle position. The bottom position is very close to that middle position. So you want to, what I always do is click up to the top and just click down slowly once and make sure that you're on that position. Each position has its own configuration, and if you are in the wrong position, uh, you will not have the correct functionality. So, with that said, we are going to plug in the router. And it's pretty simple. We get the power lights. Um, you can take the little plastic off. I always leave it on. Um, for setup, if you want, you can connect the LAN if you don't want to connect to it uh, via Wi-Fi, but it's just as easy to do it via Wi-Fi. So, once we power up, we're going to go to our computer. And in the bottom corner here, you have your network connections. And it looks like we're still powering up, so we're waiting on all of our lights to come on on this guy here. So as we come up, we can check to see if we're there. Still not quite there yet. All right, so now we're there. So you got two different uh, Wi-Fi networks here. They're they're both connected, just different frequencies. Uh, the first one is the standard two gigahertz, and then you have the five gigahertz. You can connect either one. They're they're all going to take you there. Um, so I'm just going to connect to that one. Can I, I I usually do connect automatically. And the password is included on the little card uh, that they give you. Um, so in my case. This is different for each device. Um, normally I'm, I'm not too concerned about this card because like I said, I normally set up all my routers with the same SSID and password. That way all of my devices will connect to um, the routers no matter which one's turned on. All right, so we are secured, verifying, and connecting. Once it's connected, of course, you're not going to have internet yet. So we see here that it says no internet, but we are secured. So all I'm going to do now is open up Google Chrome or your, your standard browser. And in the address bar, 
you're just going to type in 192.168. Point, I believe the default is 0 0.1. And that it is. And it pulls up into a login uh, in the directions. The default password it tells you is admin and default password is admin. So you're going to log in. And I don't need it to save that. So first time setting up, it takes you right into the quick setup. Um, I'm going to actually exit this for this time. Um, so one, once you're using it occasionally, this is where it, where it starts you out at. So if you've plugged it in, turned it on, and been through it once, or if you're at an event, this is the screen you come to. If you need to connect to Wi-Fi or your hotspot, all you have to do is go to Quick Setup on the left here, press it, and it starts taking you through some questions. Um, and all you do is I just hit Next, take the default answer on this question, which is uh, the, the connection type, and we want dynamic IP, so Next. And now it's going to scan our existing Wi-Fi networks. So if you are connecting to uh, a hotspot or a venue Wi-Fi, this is where you would you do it. Um, so in this case, um, Studio is, is my local um, Wi-Fi network. If I had a hotspot on, I could connect to that. So I'm, I'm just going to click connect on that one. And it brings us to the next screen. And this is where you would enter, uh, right here is where you enter the password for that Wi-Fi network. Um, the, if this is your hotspot, you would, you would enter your, your, your Wi-Fi hotspot password here. Um, if you're at a venue, um, you would get the Wi-Fi network name and the password. Uh, this does not work on open networks that require you to log in or use a uh, agree to terms or anything like that. So here you'd enter the password. If you wanted to change uh, the network name that this device sends, you could do that here and you can change the password uh, that it takes to log into this device. It's not required, but you can do it. Uh, once you've entered your, your password here, and we finish. So this just confirms all the information, hit finish. It will take a second to load. And once it loads, you should now have internet. So you can open a new tab if you want to just check internet and go to Google. And we see that we now have internet here. We can check. Uh, we are now connected and secured. And that's it. You are now in business. Now you can now connect all your devices. This will automatically uh, connect to the last hotspot or device that you connected to when you unplug it. Um, so if you're using the same hotspot all the time, you can just never have to change it again. Um.